Borida, good morning. A croiso. Welcome in the name of Christ to our service this morning. Today we hear how Jesus stilled a great storm at sea, and we ask ourselves, who is our anchor in the storms of life? We're going to begin with our first hymn, Eternal Father, Strong to Save. My prayer comes before you. Lord, have mercy. Ruit and Llevari and Van Halon, Ac yn dweud ceisiaf fy wyneb. Am hynny ceisiaf dy wyneb o arglyf. Crist trigarha. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Lord, have mercy. Let us say the psalm together. O give thanks to the Lord, for he is gracious, for his steadfast love endures for ever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say this, those he redeemed from the hand of the enemy, and gathered out of the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. Those who go down to the sea in ships and ply their trade in great waters, these have seen the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. For at his word the stormy wind arose and lifted up the waves of the sea. They were carried up to the heavens and down again to the deep. Their soul melted away in their peril. They reeled and staggered like a drunkard and were at their wit's end. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble and he brought them out of their distress. He made the storm be still and the waves of the sea were calmed. Then were they glad because they were at rest 
and he brought them to the haven they desired. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and the wonders he does for his children. Let them exalt him in the congregation of the people and praise him in the council of the elders. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Evangel Mark penod pedwar ad nodau trideg pimp i bedwad eg un. Ar dwrnod hwnnw gyda'r nos, dywedodd wrth bynt, awn drosodd i'r ochr draw, ac a dawsant y dyrfa, a mynd ag ef yn y cwch fel yr oedd. Yr oedd cychod eraill hefyd gydag ef. Cododd tymestl fawr o wynt, ac yr oedd y tonnau'n ymdaflu i'r cwch, nes i bod erbyn hyn yn llenwi. Yr oedd ef yn starn y cwch yn cysgu ar glistog. Deffroesant ef a dweud wrtho, athro, aw ti'n hydio dim ei bod ar ben arnom? Ac fe ddeffrodd, a chyrrydd i'r gwynt, a dweud wrth y môr, bydd ddistaw, bydd dawel. Gostegodd y gwynt, a bydd tawelwch mawr. A dywedodd wrth ynt, pam y mae arnoch ofn, sut yr ydych heb ffydd o hyd? Daeth ofn dyr fawr arnynt, a meddynt wrth i gilydd, pwy yn tai yw hwn? A mae hyd yn oed a gwynt ar môr yn ei fyddhau iddo. May the words of my mouth and the thoughts of all our hearts be acceptable to God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The sea, as it is described in the Gospels, is often interpreted by biblical scholars as a place of trial and challenge. Like the desert, it's a dangerous place. It's unsafe, showing us that the elements of the natural world can rise up with power and might, moving us aside in a second. In such circumstances, we can easily be convinced of our own insignificance. In our lives, we are often buffeted about by trials and challenges that threaten to overwhelm us, like huge waves crashing down upon us and around us. How are we to remain calm and focused when times are tough and we feel small and helpless? Who is the one we respect and turn to in trouble? the one on whom we fall back on to sort things out when life goes wrong. We hear today in our Gospel reading that Jesus is travelling in a boat along with his disciples as they journey from one place to another. A storm flares up whilst Jesus is fast asleep in the stern of the boat and the disciples have to wake him up. Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Jesus calms the storm, and the disciples are filled with great awe and say to one another, Who then is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? One simple interpretation of this passage is that having calmed the storms of the sea, Jesus will likewise calm the storms of our own lives if we only put our faith in him. Yet our own experience is that the storms often fail to subside, however much we believe and pray. Today's Gospel teaches us rather that we will suffer, but the suggestion is that the Lord is never apart from us even in what may seem to be the most desperate of circumstances. In the book of Job, we are offered encouragement that the storms will come only as close as we can handle. The Lord says 
he has prescribed bounds for the sea. Thus far shall you come, and no farther. But it is the deep belief in the presence of Jesus in our lives, and being in communion with him, that give, gives us confidence to withstand the storms. So why are you afraid? asks Jesus. Have you still no faith? The storms in our lives may not abate, but neither should they define us. There is a much larger story being played out, which we are a part of, and despite all our trials, we are here to be of some use and to play our own part in establishing God's kingdom here on earth. We are here to serve God in ways that are given to us and to remain focused on this, our life's work and mission, however external forces might distract us. In our lives, just like Jesus and the disciples, we travel from one side of the lake to the other. And we needn't be put off course or go adrift. We are to stay rooted in our faith in good times and in bad, secure in the knowledge that whatever happens around us, our destination is always the same, as indeed is the God who knows us and loves us, and to whom we are precious. God is the one we respect. God is the one we turn to in trouble, the one on whom we fall back on to sort things out when life goes wrong. If our lives are founded on faith, then it is to a humble trust in God that we are to inspire. Knowing that despite our imperfections, we are loved, we are trusted to serve God's purpose in our time here. After all, wasn't this the attitude of Jesus? who was indeed anointed as a servant to us all. So now to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, we give what is most justly due, all honour and glory, power and might, now and forevermore. Amen. Christ, Dorthini Drelio, Amser, Gedagev, Mengwedi. 
Mae Esi'n teithio gyda ni ar ein taith mewn bywyd. Byth yn gadael ein hochor, a byth yn gadael ein rhywbeth effeithio ar ein hunaniaeth fel ei blant. Deun ger ei fron yn awr mewn gosting eithrwydd, i sôn am y pryderon a gosaf at ein calonau. Ar glwydd yn dydrigaredd, gwrando ein gweddi. We pray for the people throughout the world who live in dangerous situations, whether at the mercy of the elements or in turbulent political situations, that they will know the Lord will abide with them throughout their trials and reward them at the last. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gweddiwn dros yr holl fyfyrwyr sydd unwaith eto yn wynebu tymor yr arloliadau. Byddai'n iddynt wybod bod yr arglwydd gyda hwy yn chanol yr holl bwysau a'r straen sy'n eu hamgylch hynny ar yr adeg hon. Arglwydd yn dydrigaredd, gwrando ein gweddi. We pray for new Christians everywhere that their zeal for faith in Jesus will be set within a wider narrative of his salvation for the whole world and directed towards a life of service in his name. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gweddi o'n dros yr hai nad ydyn tirioed wedi profi gweddi na chymundeb a diw ac am yr hai sy'n cael hi'n anodd dod o hyd i gyfeiriad a phwrpas. Y bydd yr arglwydd yn agor eu clystiau ac yn ehangu eu calonau i fod yn barod i dderbyn eu alwad. Arglwydd yn dydrigaredd, gwrando ein gweddi. We pray for ourselves when following Jesus is difficult that we will remember to call on the Lord to help us in our faith. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gan gyfuno ein gweddiau gyda chwmni y nefoedd gyfan, rydyn ni'n dod an holl fwriadau ger dyfron di a'r glwyddyw ein tad nefol, yn ymwybodol dy fod yn teithio gyda ni trwy fywyd mewn amseroedd da a drwg. Amen. Ein tad sydd o'n y nefoedd Mor fawr yw ddeng o sanctau, dyned y dyr na sgmelu'r dewallus, a ma fel y nefoedd. Rof ar y be
collect for the third Sunday after Trinity. Almighty God, you have broken the tyranny of sin and have sent the Spirit of your Son into our hearts, whereby we call you Father. Give us grace to dedicate our freedom to your service, that we and all creation may be brought to the glorious liberty of the children of God. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Second Collect for Peace O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life, to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your protection, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A Trudid Collect Amras Dragwithal Thu Athad a crewydd ni trwy dy allu an prynu trwy dy gariad. Tywys an nertha ni a thysbryd, fel y gallwn ein rhoi ein hynain i ti trwy gari a gwasanaethu'n gilydd. Yn yes i grist ein harglwydd. Amen. <laughs>
I hope you have enjoyed today's service. Now that the churches in the Penader Mission area are open for Sunday worship, this will be the last of our video services. It has been a huge learning curve for Pat Carroll, Cass Meirig and myself putting together these videos and we hope that they have enabled people to worship God and been a source of strength and comfort over the past 18 months of the pandemic. We will continue to send out resources for Sunday worship by email and by post. To those who are housebound or who don't feel confident to join us in church just yet. Please contact the Reverend Phil Carey of Bala Church or myself if you wish to continue receiving these resources and if you haven't received them in the past but would like to, don't be shy, let us know. I have to say we owe a great debt of gratitude to the church wardens and members of the church councils in this mission area for their sterling work and dedication in deep cleaning our churches, not just for reopening, but during the pandemic when baptism, marriage and funeral services were held in our churches. The vast majority of these church people are in the at-risk category of contracting COVID-19, but they have shown great faithfulness and courage in carrying out their duties throughout this time of uncertainty and for so many people great sadness. They are a fine example of Christian service. Diolchen Vaur, thank you very much. Finally, please look at your church notice boards for the times of services. Reverend Phil, Cass, Carol German and I We'll look forward to meeting you in church in person in the future. I'm going to ask Reverend Phil to end our service today with a prayer and blessing. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity of being able to worship and praise your holy name. We thank you that in the good times you walk alongside us. And we rejoice that in the difficult times, you are there with us too, holding out your hand that we may take hold of you, follow you and worship and praise you. And so may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. A ta dar ma bar esprit lan, a von ich plis, a katrigogi dachui, an wastad. Amen.